on to the developing news regarding the coronavirus. President Biden addressing the nation today about mounting concerns over the new Omicron variant. The president taking steps to limit transmission, all while stressing the need to get vaccinated and to mask up. ABC's Ike Ijochi is in Washington with the latest. New guidance from the CDC regarding COVID booster shots. The agency strengthening its recommendation, now saying everyone 18 and older should get a booster six months after their second dose of Pfizer or Moderna, or two months after their Johnson & Johnson single-shot vaccines. The new guidance comes after the recent emergence of the Omicron variant. It follows President Biden speaking directly to the American people today about the variant. Biden crediting health experts in South Africa for identifying the new variant quickly. This kind of transparency is to be encouraged and applauded because it increases our ability to respond quickly to any new threats. His speech comes as new travel restrictions take effect. They apply to most non-U.S. citizens coming from South Africa and seven other African nations. While we have that travel restrictions can slow the speed of Omicron, it cannot prevent it. The World Health Organization says the overall global risk is very high due to the variant's mutations. The variant, first detected in southern Africa, was labeled as a variant of concern, which means that there is scientific evidence that the variant is a threat, although there are still many unknowns. Today, Pfizer saying it's working to create vaccines specifically for the Omicron variant if it becomes necessary, and that it would be ready in 100 days subject to regulatory approval. Moderna also saying it's working on tweaking its vaccine for the Omicron variant as necessary. Meanwhile, the discovery of the new variant comes as COVID-19 hospitalizations are climbing for a third straight week. New York already declaring a state of emergency to boost hospital staffing. New York City health officials issuing a new mask advisory strongly recommending all residents to wear masks in public indoor settings. Elsewhere, confirmed cases of the Omicron variant have been reported in over a dozen countries, including Scotland, Portugal, and Canada. The UK is also tightening rules on testing for international national arrivals. Johnson & Johnson says it'll evaluate its own vaccine against the Omicron variant. Ike Ajachi, ABC News, Washington.